Hello Technical Analysis fans, this is Coach Victor here at Safehouse and today I want to talk to you about Hot Topic, Bitcoin, what's next? Let's have a look. All right then, let's have a look at what we have on the charts here. It is the daily chart on the BTC USD pair on Bybit for Bitcoin. And my goodness, what a start of the month. What a start of the month. I mean, this is December 1st right there, and it just shot up like crazy, 17%. Not quite reaching this monthly level at 45.5 for a nice 20% gain. Not quite doing so. So it's basically green, 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 green candle all the way up to the new, now freshly created daily level, 44.102. This is very interesting, of course, because many people are wondering, oh my goodness, is this the reversal? Is it going to go all the way back down here? That is a possibility. Absolutely. When price action moves very quickly to the up or downside, it leaves inefficiencies behind and it opens the possibility for relatively swift or violent reversals. That depends, of course, on how strong is the momentum. Can this just keep going and going? And if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that it was not just this push up, but it's actually been going very strong since mid-October. Here was a longer ranging phase. We've covered this also with the monthly levels involved. I have them turned off now just to show you the very, very important levels that I am looking at. But from a daily candle perspective, the next daily level of support to the downside is all the way down here at 37.7. Now that's pretty crazy because that would imply a drop from here of 13% uh, almost, which is not unheard of for Bitcoin, let's be honest. But what we have right now, much, much easier to look at, is a fresh daily level of resistance that so far continues to act as such. That has already provided possible entries for short positions. Uh, but now we need to see how this actually develops as the New York session is about to start. So very, very important session, for especially for day traders. And one thing we need to keep in mind is that there's a very nice untapped monthly level to the upside. So even if it starts pulling back a little bit here, this is still a possible target to the upside. So this is how I am keeping it as simple as possible. Yeah, there isn't much support created on a move up like this. It is much lower. This has left inefficiencies behind. And if you want to find out about what I mean by that, uh, well, then just join us on uh, Safe, Out, Safe House Vanguard because uh, there we can teach you and show you how to look at different software as well to see these inefficiencies. Of course, there's several ways to do this. You have to pick your own in the end, but uh, it does help, especially for day trading setups. Another interesting thing to make a note of is that the highs made on this push up are very friendly. Yeah, if you put a, if you enter a short position and put your stop above the high on Tuesday, for example, two days ago, then you're fine. If you put a stop loss above uh, yesterday's daily candle, you're fine. If you put a stop loss above today's daily candle, you're fine. And uh, that's very kind, but the markets are usually not that kind. So perhaps another go at these highs is also possible now how do we actually help us help ourselves with getting a bias for possible intraday setups not just you know higher time frame retracements i mean here we're looking at one two three four five six seven days of data it's not like these are not 15 minute candles so this took a while to get here even though it was impulsive so to look at things into more detail that's when you can use uh different software to see exactly who's buying how much and where, et cetera, et cetera. I've said this a few times already. And this is the kind of stuff we cover um, also during our live trading sessions, like the one we had yesterday was a very nice one. And we cover not only Bitcoin, but different assets. In other words, what is actually moving, try to capture a move on that. All for educational purposes, of course, no financial advice. So very key level of resistance right now, fresh for Bitcoin is that 44,102. Claim that and the monthly level at 45,5 is absolutely a possibility. Yeah, first price has to make it past this one in order to be able to reach this one. 
if it continues to move towards the downside, eventually, eventually, it could retrace all the way back down to the daily level. That is a possibility. Now I have turned on two additional monthly levels for this picture. And you can see that here is the old 2022 monthly level at 38.4 and another old one at 35k. This one <laughs> I talked about about extensively as well. This is another uh, possibility for a retracement. And of course, uh, you can start using different pivots for this. But as you can see here, this would be a very nice area. If we use this very dramatic pivot here from mid-November to the standing one now, which you know, for this, this would imply that this has to be the top for now at least. Then this would offer the possibility of a retracement down to the um, 38.4 to 37.7 area and actually reaching a daily level but giving this entire move back which is of course not as bullish as what's been happening up until this point. This will depend on whether there's enough selling power to get this going or not and to trigger all the stop losses for longs, long positions opening up here. We will have to see about that and now a very nice session to give us more clarity is about to start. So I'm going to wrap up this video because I want to get some of that action going. So very important area down here of support. This should not be lost. If, even if this is just another bullish retracement, then it's important that it still holds certain levels. And I would not like to see price drop below these levels because then you have to start considering more bearish options. The most bullish uh, uh, possibility would be to just blast through this daily level and go for the monthly next. There's more levels to the upside after this one, and we're covering that, covering that in our daily updates as well. So if you're interested in more, just come and join us. Uh, the link in this in the description below. And I think we still have some space for the two week free trial. So you can have a look at everything and see if it's a good fit for you. Thanks for your attention. Have a great day and a great New York trading session. I'll see you on Discord. Bye bye.